Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomepage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomepage.com app. And of course, very busy Mardi Gras weekend here across the Arkletex. We'll be watching this storm system, which is going to be moving through the region during the weekend for most of the parades. Rain looking favorable as far as the timing. I'll explain that with Futurecast here in a second. We're going to be seeing this front ease its way to the north, not going to make it very far into the Arkletex, and then the area of low pressure moves past, and that's when the colder air Sunday will begin to move in. Most of the rain that we're going to see will happen Saturday night as the brunt of this area of low pressure moves through the region and it will come to an end from north to south during the morning hours Sunday for most of the area. As far as temperatures ahead of it, another chilly day across the Arkletex tomorrow. You can see temperatures beginning probably in the 40s in the morning. Should warm up into, if we're lucky, a low 60s for daytime highs heading into a Saturday afternoon. Latest run of Futurecast does show a little bit warmer temperatures, but for the most part, I think we will stay in the upper 50s, low 60s across most of the area for your Saturday. Here's a look at uh, Robin started to Futurecast showing you that uh, tonight we will stay cloudy. Not really much as far as rain across the region going through Saturday. Most of the area will be dry for most of the day heading into the latter stages of the day. Basically northeast Texas, southeast, uh, southwest Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma, closer to where that front will be situated. That is where we will see the chance of rain begin to increase. You can see that especially over the northern sections of the area. And then all that activity will slide its way to the south uh, during the nighttime hour of Saturday night. So as far as the Gemini parade, I prepare for maybe a little bit of rain, but most of the rain during most of the parade will stay to the north. It moves through the nighttime hours tonight. Obviously, Jefferson, uh, you're looking at uh, uh, most of the rain staying to your north and aren't even developing yet by the time uh, you get going in the afternoon. And then going through Sunday, notice most of the rain here during the morning hours tapering off as we head into the afternoon, looking at lots of clouds, lots of wind, and uh, diminishing rainfall across the region as temperatures will be cold Sunday with readings dipping down into the 40s all across the Arkletex and wind chill and seas in the 20s. Severe weather risk for Sunday again storm prediction center does indicate marginal but it's kind of doubtful that we'll be warm enough uh, at least most models indicating that this is probably worst case scenario uh, but nonetheless we'll be watching for maybe a little bit of thunder a sunday morning saturday night but uh, again the biggest severe weather risk will be to the south and east of the arkletex for sunday as far as rainfall potential Futurecast still showing, good solid half an inch to an inch across most of the area. A few locations could see a little bit more than an inch, but uh, these are totals that we can handle, even though we have seen some rather soggy conditions here across the region uh, lately. So again, a rainfall is something we can handle. Severe weather, not too much of concern, and timing of the rain looks like it may be between all the festivities occurring for the most part across the region. Now, longer term, once we get this disturbance through here again this weekend, uh, we will be looking at a big upper level low development developing over the northeastern sections of the country. A big ridge in the west that's going to set the stage for a northwesterly flow above us. Cooler temperatures to start the week. And then heading into the end of the week, we'll see a possibility for some rain next Friday. And notice this storm system here. This will give us a chance for maybe some thunderstorms. Uh, this one right here along the west coast as we look ahead to next weekend sometime. So we'll be keeping a close eye on next weekend for maybe our next best chance uh, for some showers and stronger thunderstorms. Uh, so uh, seven day forecast. Yes, looks like this. Again, most of Saturday dry. Once the sun goes down, the rain begins to increase northwest half the area. A few rumbles of thunder possible Saturday night. That's when the rain will be heaviest. It moves on through and Sunday morning and decreases and moves off towards the south and east. And then most of Sunday looking cloudy, windy and colder. 53 Sunday morning down to 46 by sunset. Highs Monday, Tuesday in Shreveport staying in the 40s. Lows eventually dipping into the mid to upper 20s. And then we'll start to warm up again, back up into the mid to upper 60s by the end of next week with another chance for some showers as we look ahead to next Friday. In Texarkana, you're looking at, again, rain. A little bit better chance tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening especially. Most of the rain will wrap up quickly Sunday for Texarkana. Uh, temperatures fairly steady as you uh, will basically be in the low 40s for much of the day Sunday, probably falling into the 30s during the evening hours. Uh, speaking of 30s, 39 degrees for the high Monday, a bit of a warm up, mid 60s by the end of next week, and look at the nighttime lows in Texarkana, mid 20s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night. So all in all, it looks like uh, keep the umbrella handy, prepare if you're headed to one of the area Mardi Gras parades, prepare for a little bit of rain, but it looks like the heaviest of the rain will happen uh, after the activity Saturday and before the activity Sunday.